Hi guys, welcome to Richard in the Kitchen this morning. I'm going to have for lunch a double Swiss cheeseburger with ultra thin crusty hamburger. It is absolutely great. I tell you what, if you've ever struggled with hamburgers and you make them too thick, you struggle with getting the middle of them in, you know, cooked all the way inside. In order to get that great crust you want on the outside, come along with me. Let me show you what I do with this and make them ultra thin and make them so tasty and easy to do. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use about one third of a cup, which is about two and a half ounces. I'm using ground chuck 80-20. You can probably get away with 85-15, but what you want to do is you can just put this in a, a one third cup measuring cup, form it into a little ball, and I'm doing two of them because I'm going to have a double burger and you just set those aside and let those come to room temperature and then uh, when that happens I'll show you what to do next. Next, take your pat of butter and put it in your frying pan and just swirl that around. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my buns on here when the skillet gets a little hot and I'm going to butter these buns and brown those just a little bit. Take your buns and that butter, swirl it around, and we're just looking to brown those, sort of like what you get with toast. It only takes a couple of minutes on medium-high heat to do this, and then we'll get our meat on. About a minute. That's kind of what you're looking for for your buns. Let's go ahead and take our buns off and set that aside. Because we've got butter in there and it has a low smoke point, we're just going to Throw a little vegetable oil in there to keep that butter from smoking and burning. And we're going to set our meat down in the middle of our skillet. Now if you have a burger press, that would be optimal, but I ain't got one of them. So I'm going to take a pan and I'm going to wet the bottom of that so that the meat doesn't stick. And you just give this a good press, good and hard. And that's what you come out with right there. If you want your burger to be thin, it only takes about a minute, 20, minute, 30 seconds to cook this burger on this one side. You'll know when it's done and you need to flip it when these edges start curling up on the outside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit this with some salt and some pepper and just a drizzle of Worcestershire sauce, or however the hell you say that. And we'll give that about another 45 seconds and we'll give it a flip. All right, you can see it's starting to curl up around the edges. Use a metal spatula for this, scrape up all that good stuff on the bottom and give it a flip. Look at the crust on that burger. That, you, you go to Whataburger and places like that, man, I tell you what, that's why it tastes so good. So what we're going to do while I'm waiting on that, you only want to keep that on there about 30, 45 seconds after you flip this. And I'm going to go ahead and top my, my uh, burger buns with some lettuce, some pickles, and some red onions. And I'll put the cheese on there just a second after I take this meat and put it on this other bun. And then I'll go ahead and start doing my other burger. You want this on medium high heat, guys, so it'll crust up. Look at that crust on that burger. Now when you flip that up, see there, that burger is almost done, crusted on that other side. Scrape up all this good stuff. Man, that's good stuff right there. Mmm, man, tell you what. All right, let's go ahead and put this on this one bun, and I'll set that aside. I'll go ahead, hit it with just a little bit more olive oil, uh, sorry, vegetable oil, and we'll put that second burger on there, and we'll give this a press. You want to get it as thin as you can. Go ahead and press pretty hard. It's not going to hurt nothing. Go ahead and put some Worcestershire sauce on there. Put a pinch of salt. Put a pinch of pepper. Man, that smells so good. And like I said, don't let this thing go no more than a minute and a half. It may only take a minute and 20 seconds. 
But when it starts curling up, that's when you know it's going to be ready to, to flip over. It'll stay together, but make sure you use a metal spatula because you want to get all that brown good stuff on the bottom there. So let's give this another uh, minute or so. We'll flip it over, then we'll start building our burger. Second burger's done. I'm going to go ahead and top the first one with some Swiss cheese. Go ahead and top that second burger on top of there. Put that other second piece of Swiss cheese on there. Let me take this skillet off this fire. Set it aside so I don't set off the smoke alarm. Look at that. Man, I tell you what. We'll go ahead and we'll take this and flip that. How about that? An ultra th thin crusty Swiss cheeseburger. Man, I tell you what, let's go ahead and plate this up. We'll give it a taste test and see how we did on this, guys. <laughs> Look at this bad boy right here. Oh my God. Ultra thin, crusty meat. Man, look at that. Don't that look good? Let's give this a test. <laughs> that is so juicy. Look at that juice dropping off my hand. <clears throat> Stop making your burgers too thick, guys. This is quick. It's easy. It's more tastier. You'll retain more fluid in your beef, and you'll get that absolute great crust that you're looking for on top of a burger. So give this a try. Till next time, don't forget to be nice to punch somebody. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye, y'all.